I'm glad to see that the fax machine is working, yeah. but I must now... I want, attention, H. Krantz and R. Feynman. Attention, H. Krantz and R. Feynman, directors of CH Furniture Limited. One of your staff is wasting company, valuable company time and electricity yeah. sending us faxes. I wouldn't normally do this that, to you. That'll bring the faxes in. I wouldn't normally do this to you, Trevor Steeles, but if you're going to write rubbish jokes, you will get, get <laughs> taken off this show. Just a joke. Yes, Double you will up. get Let taken off the show. Oh, no, no, no. And probably lose your job. No, this is a great joke. No, it's not. <laughs> it's a great joke. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, on this August occasion, our very first morning broadcast... Uh, attention, H. Kranz, don't pick the phone up now. No, no, I'm thinking... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, a man has taken time... It's very nice handwriting to... Hey, lovely. From Trevor, Trevor Steele, Trevor Steele. And he says here, Danny... <coughs> Company is <laughs> awful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but he's, 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 he's written it very carefully. I, 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 in a modest way, I write right, jokes. Right, 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 right. Read, uh, it, read the whole facts blind. Just no, I'm not going to read the whole facts. Yeah, you must. You must. Read the whole thing. Coventry have an elephant on their shirts to remind them that every season they face a, quote, mammoth, unquote, job to stay in the Premiership. Read on. <laughs> read on. <laughs> he's taken time out of his hectic read. schedule selling furniture <laughs> to get us there. Read on. Meanwhile, there's about a thousand That's customers standing close. around trying to buy a sofa. Say, so where is he? Okay. Uh, the same is true with my team Spurs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he gets better. The same and is better. <laughs> You know, no wonder people are hesitant to ring in here. The same is true of my team, Spurs. Every now and then, they seem to cock things up. Keep reading. Keep reading. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Go on. No, that's why I had to. I had to alert his employer. You were going to throw this away. This is gold. I'm now going to read it from the top, everyone. Yes, it is. This will fight. This is this is why the BBC are shaking in their boots because our listeners are capable of this sort of thing. <clears throat> Yeah, Danny, Coventry have an elephant on their shirts to remind them that every season they face a mammoth job to stay in the Premiership. <laughs> Same is true of my team Spurs. Every now and then they cock things up. NB, their current situation, a case of gross negligence. All the best from <laughs> Trevor Steele in CH Furniture. I suspect that is not blank irony. I suspect the fellas rocking with laughter hearing that. I hope so. Trevor? Trevor, in our morning shows, we now have Trevor on our side. Trevor, please don't say... No, I no, like this. No, no, this is good. And we expect at least two of these from jokes two every jokes like Saturday morning, we want, Trevor. We want, uh, 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 you know, this is... The, take offence if you like, Trevor, but we want two lame puns from you. It's <laughs> We're going to get a little jingle made. It's Trevor's lame pun. And don't worry, H. Krantz won't sack you because he loves to hear the name C.F. Furnishing read out on the air like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, C.H. Furnishing, C. sorry, yeah, C.F. Furnishing, you're going to shop yeah. across the road. C.H. Furniture. furniture, yeah. That's it, that's it. Only ten, it's all local at weekends anyway. 0500 <laughs> 1053 we now have uh, Trevor Steele, who's the show is presented by... He's our resident gagmeister, he is. wonderful, yeah, it's a work for him. Fun someone through there. This will be line one. Thanks for joining us, Paul. Thanks for hanging on during Trevor's spot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Trevor, what do you want to tell us? Paul, uh, is it Paul? Uh, yeah, Paul, hello, Paul. What do you want uh, to tell then. us? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a story about mean footballers. Mean football, always good. Always. And the great thing to do here is if, if ever you've, uh, uh, you know, remember an old category, ring us up and remind us because we forget. What one? Uh, mean football is Jeff Astle. Really? Oh, yeah, Astle. Uh, Jeff, Mr. Uncle Fun, I am got a good sense of humour, me. Really? Uh, and his wife. Okay, yeah, okay. Um, about this is I've got an Uncle Fun, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Humour, blah, blah, blah. What is it? Uh, yeah, about three Wednesdays ago, yeah. we was um, we sponsored a go West Bromwich Albion home game. One of the guys we worked with in the city, he was 50 years old. You sponsored he's, it? Yeah, he's been a lifelong West Brom fan, so oh, we sponsored the match. Before, before, before you carry on, how um, uh, far in advance do you have to get into a club's ribs to sponsor a game? Uh, I'm, I, it was a guy who put it all up, so I couldn't tell. Oh, I okay. couldn't okay. very long oh, right. game like that. Anyway, we um, phoned up. Uh, for, a, for a surprise for the Gage Rouge 50, it was we phoned up and asked if um, West Brom could get in touch with Jeff Astle and asked him to join us on our table for the yep. evening. Okay. Which uh, West Brom said, yeah, they were fine. On one condition, Jeff Astle could bring his wife along. Okay, yeah. So we thought, well, there's no problem with that. There was ten fellas. Yeah. So we, uh, he come and joined us at the table. We was, was trying to talk to him. And all through the meal, he was just eating and eating and eating, ordering more food. He yeah. just, I was just saying a word to us all the time. M Mrs. Ashton ate a phenomenal amount of food. They just, they just were straight at the trough and not looking up. That's right. Like, any more pie? And I was asking. <laughs> <laughs> any more pie? <laughs> <laughs> really? Not the actual phrase, surely. So, yeah, have you finished with that on your plate there and stuff like that? No. Yeah, so then, um, uh, the, the, you know what they do with these grounds, they come round with uh, raffle tickets. So I know. We've, um, we've had, a, I think our table had about £100 worth of tickets yeah. that we gave to uh, Mrs Astle to look after. No, oh, don't no. go down this road, surely not. <laughs> go on. No. Yeah, I'm afraid so. No. Uh, <laughs> we, uh, we watched the first half. 
come back in the bar at half time to have a few drinks, uh, looking out onto the pitch, and lo and behold, walking out to accept first prize in the record. No. <laughs> 700, <laughs> 700 of your English? 700 of your English. Now, could there have been some mistake? Did you say... Well, have, she, have, may, she may well have bought some tickets of her own, which I can't confirm or deny that, but she comes straight back to where we were, trousered the money to <laughs> mention it. And that was the last we see. Man, and so hubby still by this point had his, his, his nose in the bag, did he? He was asleep, probably sleeping it off somewhere. Did you, uh, on a ratio of one to ten, how interested was he in you and your friends? Uh, well, not very. Was it about two, then, yeah? Yeah, about very low, probably one or two. No, he was, I mean, it's probably a bit out of order to have a go at him. No, it's not, because otherwise wiring a network radio station. Right, yeah. <laughs> you but, have um, no calls to have conscience, sir. Yeah. And as far as you know, Mrs. A remained uh, accomplishment is enough to keep one eye on that old <laughs> raffle table. But it was funny, we were all standing around looking out on the pitch and out. She marched, waving to the crowd. And, well, as far, and as far as you know, she had your. Uh, well, that's right. Well, we bought hundred pounds worth. And they, and they, and they, and so I mean, there's probably the chances are it was one of our tickets. Well, of she, course, the, the lines are open for Mrs. Astor to ring through and defend herself. <laughs> but she's about to say, "Oh, I bought one, and that was it." Yeah, that right. is brilliant. All right, then. Uh, that is superb. Thank you, my friend. So, Jeff Astle, I like the idea of the pair of them get down at the table. I haven't got more pie. <laughs> Any more pie. Any raffle tickets? Yum, 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 And they're saying, so, uh, what was it like when you uh, play for... Yeah, I'm just going to get yum, 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 And, uh, so when did you actually go up the game? Oh, two years back now. What about that shot you missed against Brazil? Yeah, what about that? Oh, yeah, I'm sleep this night. Never over it. Pass the gravy, will you? Any more biscuits? Jeff Astle. Wow. So, all right. Uh, greedy old footballers. It's the Jeff Astle, Jeff and Mrs. Astle trophy. Uh, Jeff and Mrs. Astle trophy now. Footballers you really seen tucking in. Really seen getting... Trenchermen. Trenchermen. And Trencher ladies. Stout, stout <laughs> yeoman and yo ladies. Yo ladies. <laughs> all the ladies in the house. <laughs> wow. I, I, I can't imagine there's anyone greedier than the Astles there. I don't know. I mean, I, I say that affectionately if they're listening. So, uh, he just turned up. Listen, love, uh, these people want us to sit at their table, so don't do any cooking for the previous three days. We'll make up for it when we get there. Let's hope there's pie, Jeff. Oh, there's, and, and that is the phrase, any more pie? Yeah, this is the return of Trevor Steeles, our resident comedian. Right, OK. We, we missed this fax last week. It didn't come through because of the machine for some reason. But you say it's, these are good. No, I've, I've changed my mind. Um, All right, so we need the... CH uh, Furnishing Limited, he works for... Can we have the uh, correct the Graham, then, please? Yeah. Can we have the... Uh, yeah. the I've got to go back to... I've got to go back to... Um, <coughs> a few weeks ago, when we had the, we, we, the phrase came on the show, Any More Pies... Right, now. Okay. Explain briefly to the listeners what Any More Pies Any More about. Pies was we're looking for the greediest football in Britain. It turns out that Jeff Astle and his wife, it, it turns out, uh, were freeloading to such an extent and uh, ignoring the company they were with who had won a night out with them and the only thing Jeff was really enthusiastic was the phrase any more pies well this is Trevor's idea of what various other famous people may well have said mm -hmm. David Beckham to Posh Spice any more thigh the American nation to Bill Clinton any more lies Cyclops any more eyes Mrs. Sylvester Stallone any more sly chicken licking any more sky? Will Carling? Any more tries? John Le Carre? Any more spies? Dickie Bird? Any more buys? J.R. Hartley? Any more flies? All Welsh women? Any more dies? Winnie the Pooh? Any more. <laughs> <laughs> Any more hives? And finally, Henry VIII. Any more wives? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know whether that was brilliant or whether it was the worst thing I've ever heard. I think I think it's pretty brilliant. <laughs> yeah, but no. Knowing him as we do, you see, he, this is him working flat out. This is not blank postmodern irony. No, this here. is way out of the edges of his imagination. He's taken him all night to do this. I must say, by the time we got to Dickie Bird, any more buys? <laughs> the idea of Dickie Bird asking if there were any more buys, any more highs, and everything. <laughs>
No, I, I think, yeah, I think that is very, very good. Yeah. I don't know why, I mean, it's well, love chicken, of God. And also, chicken licking any more sky. That, 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 that is one that if ever you did uh, try to write a review or an appraisal list and put in, and then Danny Kelly read a list out, including the <laughs> phrases, I'm afraid it wouldn't get you one extra listener. And the phrase you had to be there, I hope, applied to that, because yeah, when good. it started, I thought, oh, this is really <laughs> awful. And by after six or seven, I started thinking, <laughs> this is one of the greatest things I've ever ever heard. <laughs> you might read it again, see. But... <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> All right, uh, bug someone through. We've now got to do, uh, as you heard earlier on, our friend... Oh, go on, Dan. Well, sure. Trevor Steele's is very... No, follow up, now. The follow-up to Any More Pies. Ready with the music. Let's go. David Jack before the 1923 FA Cup final. Any More Highs. <laughs> Sil 70s porno actress Sylvia Cristal. Any More Sighs. <laughs> Ambiguously sexual David Bowie. Any More Buys. <laughs> I'm adding some here. Ronald McDonald. <laughs> Ronald McDonald. Any more fries? <laughs> TV handyman Barry Buck Bucknell. Any more ply? <laughs> and Batman's friend the Riddler. Any more why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, it's going to be sick. Barry Bucknell. Any, any more, more ply? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it for us. Oh, we got to get out. Nick Abbott's next. Um, well, that's that. All right, it was half past 11 next Saturday morning. Yeah. Uh, thanks, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, once more, what did Barry Buckle say? Any more ply? <laughs> Thank you, Ola. Thank Phil Wilding, who's been a producer today, and of course, Jamie and Tim in the other room. Uh, thanks to everyone who got through. It's been well, as good as ever. Thank you for yourselves. Let me talk radio. Um, what did the Riddler say? Any more why? <laughs>